Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow snappy in Aero Garden Bounty Basic. This variety is called Little Marvel. One tricky thing with the snappy seeds is they don't like continuous wet environment. So placing the seeds directly in Aero Garden pots is not going to work. So I am going to make the sprouts using the wet paper towel method. Once the seeds are sprouted, I will transplant them into Aero Garden Bounty. It is very simple process. I am planning to grow only 4 plants in Aero Garden Bounty but I need some backup so I am placing 8 seeds. Assuming 4 of these will sprout. Just place them on the paper towel and fold the paper towel and wet the paper towel. Don't make it too wet. All we need is little moisture, but we don't want the paper towel to be too much wet. Alright, this is good enough. Now place it in Ziploc bag. Close the Ziploc bag and leave it in a dark and warm place. Let's check it out after two days. It's been two days. Let's take a quick look at the seeds. This paper towel still has a lot of moisture. Wow, that's awesome. Look at these seeds, how fast they are sprouting. And I see three nice sprouts and a few more just started. So I'm going to transplant these seeds and keep the remaining in the paper towel. It's very simple. Just open the sponge. Then place the seedling or sprout and put it back. That's it. The pod is ready. Now I am going to place it in my Aero Garden Bounty and repeat the same for the remaining two seedlings. It's day 3, let's take a look at the seedlings again. Since they already sprouted, I think they should have good progress by now. Yep, as I expected, I see nice sprouting and there are two more on the way. This one didn't show any progress and uh, looks like it is getting spoiled. I see it turned into slimy stuff already. So I have no hope on that. But all these four seeds should work. I will repeat the same process and uh, transplant these seeds. It's been four days since I transplanted the seedlings. All seedlings are coming very nice. Now I have five seedlings in this garden and I'm getting tempted to continue with five pods. It's day seven. All the seedlings are coming really nice. They are showing very good progress. Now let's look at the last seed in the wet paper towel. Here it is. Wow, look at this. There's so much root system. Actually, I have two seeds. I thought I have only one seed, but I have two seeds and both are showing excellent progress. Now I am tempted to place one of these seedlings in Aero Garden. I don't want to lose both. I feel like I have room here. I can just add one more seedling here and go with the six seedlings or six plants and leave the back three holes empty. I don't want to lose the other seedling as well, but I don't want to overcrowd as well. So I'm going to sacrifice one of these seedlings and go with six plants. It's day 20. The plants are coming excellent. This last plant is struggling a little bit. It couldn't compete enough with the other plants. Let's see where this will end up. If it shows very weak progress, I am going to pull it out. 
all the other plants are doing excellent it's day 27 all plants are doing excellent i still don't see any signs of flower birds i'm hoping that i'll see some flower birds by now but i don't see but that's fine it's just day 27 nothing to worry about it's day 34 look at these plants they are getting massive i didn't know that this variety will grow this tall not sure if I can manage them, but I will do my best. I'm going to install another level of trellis and give the plants good support. It's day 42. Today I see a couple of flower boards. One here, one here and the other one a little further. So the journey just started. Let's see how best and how fast this will go on. It's day 46. Now I see a bunch of flowers fully opened up. Look at all these beautiful flowers. There are so many flowers. So it is all going good. I'm really excited for these snappies. It's day 47. Look at this. A little moral is here. Wow. And there are lots of flowers at full bloom. This journey started so nice. It's day 51. The snappies are growing very nice. Look at these snappies. Wow. One beauty with snappies and any beans for that matter is we don't need to pollinate these flowers. They are self pollinated and they can take care of themselves. That's why growing snappies is super easy peasy and very straightforward. It's day 57. The snappies are growing very nice. Look at this. I can see the seeds inside. They are developing very nice. I'm really excited. And there are so many snappies all over the plants. And these plants are still flowering. Look at these beautiful flowers. They are not stopping anywhere. The plants fell so badly. They are pretty tall and they couldn't stand. So they are just falling. I already installed two levels of trellis. I have room for another trellis. But the plants get too close to the lights. That's the reason I am just letting them fall off. Uh, anyway, the light is being distributed very well. So I hope these plants will do fine. I am very excited to harvest my first snappy, maybe another 4-5 days. It's day 62, a couple of pods are ready. Look at these pods, they are perfectly ready. I can harvest these pods, but my kids actually enjoy only peas inside, so I am going to let them grow a little bit big. But lot of pods are ready, if I have to harvest pods and uh, enjoy the whole. Look at this batch. Wow. Lots of pods all over the plants. Look at this. These are all growing nice. There are some in the back. These plants are growing pretty tall and they are falling off. They're supposed to grow up to two feet, but they are definitely growing a lot more than two feet. So they are falling off. Look at this. If I pull it, they are about 3 feet. But anyway, I am still able to manage them. My only regret is I am growing a 6 plants, which is a very bad idea. I should have stick to just 4 plants as I originally planned. But I was a little greedy and I started adding more. So I ended up with a 6 plants, which is a very bad idea. The plants are getting overcrowded and they are not doing healthy. I think if it is four plants, they would be much healthier. Look at these plants, they are drying up. Maybe it has a little bit life at the end, but overall it is doing very bad, very unhealthy. So never be greedy. I know this already, I should not be greedy adding more plants, but I often get tempted and try to add more plants and always end up with this unhappy results. But from now on, I'm not going to be greedy at all. I always try to go with less whatever 
the max number of plants can comfortably grow in the aero gardens i'm going to stick to that and get a lot more success it's day 67 looks like a couple of pods are ready let me show you the pod under the lights look at this we can clearly see nice and uh, fat enough seeds inside here is the other pod we can clearly see the seeds inside so this is exactly what my kids want i am going to harvest it now look at this a bunch of pods are ready i am going to harvest all the well developed pods like this all right here is everything i got from the first harvest just for fun let's measure the weight i got two fluid ounce which is basically 58 grams not bad in the first harvest the plants still have a bunch of pots including some baby ones so this is going to go at least a couple of weeks overall i don't see a lot of yield i'm not very happy with this yield when i was growing a tom thumb dwarf peas i got a lot more peas I see a lot of baby pots coming up, but still, I don't think I am happy. I expect a lot more peas from these six plants. But as I said, I really regret growing a six plants in this garden. I wish I would have stick to just four plants, but I was a little greedy and went for six. I think that kind of degrades the yield. Otherwise, I would be seeing a lot more pots. Anyway, it is not bad. I still see a lot of uh, baby pots coming and I also see some new growth maybe oh I see some flowering as well that's really good I think these plants need a little bit of maintenance I'm going to remove all these drying leaves and uh, see how long I can manage the plants in this garden there's a lot of dead growth lots of leaves drying up so I'm going to do a little bit of maintenance clean this garden and uh, put it back but uh, I don't think there is anything new from this point it is going to be a routine. I'm going to be maintaining the plants a little bit, removing all the dead growth and let the plants come with uh, new growth and new pods. And also I'm excited to harvest all these pods. They're growing pretty well. The seeds are developing nice. So I'm going to keep watching for the seeds inside and uh, as soon as I see fat seeds, I'm going to harvest them. So overall, it's not a bad experiment. I got decent amount of pods i'm getting decent amount of pods so i'm happy with it but next time i'm going to stick to just four plants and this variety is okay it can be managed in bounty i don't recommend to try this in harvest models or even harvest excel they are pretty tall some vines are growing up to three feet so definitely not recommended I have been feeding just the aerogarden nutrients and i have been feeding just the recommended dosage which is good enough for these plants Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.